Hello, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to show you the uh, recently revised Google user interface worldwide and why it's important to you and how you can get the best value out of it. So, um, please note, first off, I am in Google.com, and some of the features that you'll see here may not occur in all the different Google sites around the world. But the first thing I want to show you is this voice search. Here's a, a voice search for desktop. This has been in mobile for a while, but if you click on it, Florist Brisbane. Now, nah, it went wrong. Florist Brisbane. And there it is. Now, there's a couple of interesting things to note here. First of all, it did correctly translate my speech into Flores Brisbane, which I searched for, but it also had some other suggestions, which is Google Instant, which is Forest Brisbane and Flores Prison. So uh, here we are on the results page. Interesting thing to note about this black bar across the top, which is on all of Google's sites, is they're now giving us navigation to different search terms. So we've got the web here. We've got images, so we can look for pictures. We've got a video search, and they'll bring back videos. We can go into maps, and it'll bring us back maps and show us little uh, map locations, news. Um, there's even a shopping uh, link. Uh, and you can tie in, if you are signed in, if you're logged in with a Google account, it'll use your historical searches to qualify uh, the results it brings back and you can read your Gmail here. So Google is trying to keep us on these pages. Now, if we go over here, uh, you'll see again, this navigation is duplicated with images, videos, news. You can go to more, and it'll do books, blobs, blogs, discussions, recipes, patents, right? You can shrink that down. An important thing to show you is the search tools. Google has removed the Wonder Wheel, which was a graphic tool that showed you related searches to Flores Brisbane. But they still have a link here called Related Searches, and you can click on that and it'll show you all the different related type searches. So this is a good way to determine, uh, do some keyword research and that sort of stuff. Now, I call myself Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and I want to show you Google Instant, where it actually in real time changes the display and is trying to guess what you're searching for. So if I start to put in my name, you can see it's guessing whether it's Monte Carlo, Monte Bay, uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. I now start going to my name and without even completing my name, it completes it for me so you can see myself, myself as a speaker, myself as a Google AdWords consultant, and myself as a Google guru. So, and this comes from Google's own search data. They're guessing based on what other people have searched on. And this is a great way for you to do research on your company's name, your company's services, your company's products. Just start putting them in and see how Google brings back the results and keeps changing things uh, so that you'll see what's going on. And here, related searches for Monty Hipsch, because I had ticked that before, and it's so got SEO, speaker, Google marketing, business. It's all there. Very, very clever, and you need to play with this, both voice search and the autocomplete instant results page, because uh, it will give you ideas about um, terms you might want to add to your website or put on your Facebook fan page or in your LinkedIn profile, things to help you market. And remember our Google eye tracking study, we're still going to be clicked down in the upper left hand corner and not scrolling down so much. So the fact that Google is placing all this information up here is very, very important. So please log on to Google.com and play around with your company name, your company's goods and services. See how the autocomplete and the instance results show up. Check with related searches. Uh, I hope this has been valuable to you. This is new stuff from Google just in July of 2011. Thanks for your time. Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.